Welcome back to my channel, it's Charlie here. So if you haven't seen my videos before, then I help small business owners just like you get more leads, sign more clients, and make more money using AI and automation. And in this video, you're going to learn something very valuable. You're going to learn how to actually get leads and then filter those leads using AI and ChatGPT. And I haven't actually seen a video on this before. So it's gonna be exciting and you're gonna learn how to get leads on Instagram, Facebook, or any social media you can think of for free and then filter it for free. So that is the best part. It's going to save you time, save you money, and let's just dive straight into it. Now, I do just want to say that lead quality is probably the most important thing because you can have the best offer, you can have the best outreach scripts, copywriting, but it will not make a difference and it will not convert prospects into appointments if you're sending to the wrong people. So it's really important you watch this video all the way through so you understand exactly how to do this. Now, I've shared many videos on my channel on how you scrape leads, whether it's free groups or free communities in your niche, whether it's finding a small creator who has a following of your ideal clients in which you can leverage, or maybe you're using a scraping software. I'm gonna walk you through a few ways of getting leads, but then I'm gonna show you how to actually filter them using ChatGPT, right? Because that's why you clicked on the video. So the problem is any of these methods that you use, you're going to get a lead list, but that lead list is going to have some bad unqualified leads, meaning that they just aren't who we want to reach out to. So I'm going to be sharing later in this video how you actually go about that and remove all those bad leads from a lead list without having to pay or do it yourself. So let's dive straight into this. I've done the hard work, guys. I found the prompts and I found the strategies. You just need to watch this video. So essentially, let's just take this guy, for example. Let's say hypothetically, you are working with online fitness coaches. You can go to someone like Vince, for example, and I recommend compiling five to 10 of these creators who have your clients as a following in which you can then just leverage their posts and contact their leads because they've done the hard work of building up a 100 plus thousand followers in which you can just leverage. So if we just take this post, for example, you can see that there will be, I promise, coaches that... um have liked this. As you can see, Neil's liked this. Josh has liked this. Um, we've got Tony. We've got all these people. However, as you can see, a lot of these people aren't coaches. So that's what we're going to remove in this video, right? So essentially, you can use something like Instant Data Scraper. It's a completely free Chrome extension. I'm not affiliated. I'm not selling you anything in this video because I care more about impact and just providing you guys value. So yeah, Instant Data Scraper is an amazing free Chrome extension. So all we need to do is actually head over to Instant Data Scraper. And I am not affiliated with this. It's a completely free tool. It's one of the best tools for scraping leads, in my opinion. And you can just click on it. And as you can see, it has highlighted what we want to scrape, which is here. So as you can see, it's yellow. So what this means is if we go back onto Instant Data Scraper, we can all we need to do is just set this as about you know, two to three seconds. I recommend three seconds. And we can now essentially click Start Crawling. And if we go back to Instagram, it's going to start going down the lead list. As you can see, I'm not touching anything. Um, this is pretty self-explanatory. I've shown you how to do this in the past. So I really wanted to cover more so on how you filter these leads in this video. So let's go back into here and just stop the crawling. But as you can see, it's gotten about 20 to 30 leads already. So it's really good. Um, and you can just, you know, once again, continue crawling and it'll get more and more leads for you as many that's in the post. But let's just stop that. And now what we want to do is remove this. And we want to remove this because all we essentially want, right, is the first name and the username. We can now, let's just uh, download as started. So if we go back to here, it should be downloading up here. So as you can see, it's already done that. So now if you go back to the Google Doc, I've actually created prompts for you guys in terms of how to filter these using ChatGPT. So um, these work. I've experimented with this. Um, and to show you how these work, um, we can essentially use it right now. So if we... I, once again, this is just the first step. There's about two to three steps in this video that I'm going to be showing you, which is really valuable. So keep watching. But we can go into ChatGPT. Let's just copy this prompt here. So essentially what we're saying to ChatGPT, right, is we're saying filter the leads attached and remove users without the word coach, PT, fitness, or trainer in their username. So if we upload the lead list that we just downloaded from Instagram, as you can see, it's this one, and we click open, and if we click start and give it a few seconds to load, you can see that it has imported it into um, ChatGPT. And obviously, if you were to spend 10 minutes, you'd be able to get probably 250 to maybe 500 Instagram leads um, or Facebook leads, which I'll show you in a second. But as you can see, it has scraped um, the leads that don't have the, um, yeah, 
users with coach PT fitness. So if we go back here, you can see that a lot of these people aren't coaches like this guy. Okay, maybe this guy is a coach, but this guy definitely isn't. Um, I think this person probably isn't maybe. Yeah, you can see a lot of these aren't. So by removing the people that don't have fitness, you can see that this would be an example of someone we want to target. We can essentially just get all the people that are actual coaches and then we can tell ChatGPT to um, download this as a CSV, right? So download this as a CSV and it's going to start to get a lot um, like better basically. So keep watching. So I'm going to blow your mind in a second. It's going to get way crazier. So now just download this as a CSV, just click it once and you can see that it has downloaded the filtered leads. Um, but once again, we don't have that many because I literally spent 30 seconds doing it, but you needed to spend a bit longer and you'd get a lot more leads. I'm just showing you the principle of this and then you can get creative for whatever niche you're in. But nonetheless, right, now we can go to step two of this um, thing where essentially what we're doing now is we are telling ChatGPT, right, is to scrape what you think would be their first name from the username so we can just get their first name straight away, right? So as you can see, we have Dan whatever. So we just need to tell um, ChatGPT to filter this just to give me their username and first name only. And if you click go and give it a second, it's going to analyze it and it will just give you their username and the first name because obviously we don't want, um, yeah, like, Dan Blarge, we want just Dan, right? Pretty self-explanatory. As you can see, that is what it has done there. But now let's take it up a level because if we go to step three, what we're actually going to do is we're going to get ChatGPT to write a personalized opener from the information. So if we copy this, and if you want this Google Doc, just DM me on Instagram and I'll literally send it to you for free so you have these prompts that you can just tell ChatGPT to filter leads with. So if we go here and then go back into... ChatGPT, you can say that we have told it to write me a personalized message with a compliment to start a conversation using the list I'll upload here. So then what we do, right, is we download this simplified filtered CSV and then we upload that to here, as you can see. And then what it's going to do is if we click enter now, it's actually going to go onto um, the username of the, of the profile and it's actually going to write a personalized message so sometimes these need tweaking sometimes they aren't the best but if you play around with it you can actually get these pretty good so um yeah you can see that joshua evan coach he is a body transformation coach it has said um i came across your profile and was really impressed by your uh, yes yeah, so you can see that it's pretty generic however you can make these a lot better by improving the prompts that you give to chat gpt so if you were to play around with this with like a hundred leads as you can see you've technically just created a hundred personalized first lines in a matter of seconds without having to do anything however it does just take you um some time to play around with it and to get it um sorted but then once you've got it sorted you can then create a system around your lead scraping so most people don't have systems around their you know what, what they do their tasks essentially and therefore it takes them ages to do it it's like this content that i'm producing right now i don't spend hours and hours making it i've created a system an sop a standard operating procedure around my content that allows me to get out a lot of content out a lot of volume every other day and to help you guys so you need to do the same thing for leads for example or it could be your health routine and this is just an amazing way of going about that, that where if you were to spend some extra time, you can see your profile as a PT and S and C coaching is truly um, inspiring. Do you have any favorite training routines or tips that you can share with your clients? Or you could say me, but that is a way in which you could start a conversation with um, this person. And you can see that you can even tell ChatGPT to ask a question, which is what you want for an opener. And then you can pitch your offer in the second message. And you can do this for other things. So if we take Facebook groups, for example, you can go into Facebook groups, you can click on people. And once again, we can use Instant Data Scraper because it's very good and it's free to highlight that. And as you can see, just like that, it has gotten quite a few leads. And if we actually click infinite scroll and put this to two, it would actually get more leads in Facebook. So if we just go off this one, which was the health coaches, and now we're just scraping real estate agents inside a free Facebook group, we can use the same premise. As you can see, it's going down the list right now. I think it's stopped. I oh, know it hasn't stopped. Um, but you can see that it's already gotten quite a few leads. So let's just click stop crawling. Um, let's remove the information we don't need. So we don't need that. And we don't need um, 
I mean, we, we might need their name. So I guess this is just like a bio. So let's just call this um, bio and then we can remove this. And then if we download this as a CSV, you can see that this name here, by the way, if we actually use this and we put this into a URL, it will actually take us to a page. So you can see that it's taken us to Evergreen Farms. So what we could do is using the same method we just used for coaches, we could essentially filter out non-personal pages because you would never want to send a message to a business profile. You always want to send it to a personal profile. So if we look at someone like Elizabeth, this person would be the ideal person, probably, I don't know, but I assume, yeah, she might be a real estate agent. Um, once again, you could filter this. So you could only message people with 100 plus friends and with an actual name. So in terms of how you would do that, as you can see, we've downloaded the Facebook as a CSV. What we can do is we can actually use now the third prompt in terms of write a personalized message. And we can do this from using their bio because if you go into ChatGPT, you can see that we actually have where they work. Um, so this may not be the best example, but you can get creative with this and I promise you, you can actually, um, yeah, create some really good messages if you prompt it correctly. But as you can see, like you can still do the same thing of just like uploading the CSV for whatever you scrape, whether it's a Facebook group, whether it's um, Instagram, it could be Twitter, it could be LinkedIn, it could literally be anything. So you can get so creative with this. Um, but yeah, I think it would be able to do this. So yeah, you can see that it has created a, um, a question in the form of a personalized compliment as well. <laughs> it's actually quite funny how it's done that. Um, so cash dash funding, obviously that is a expertise in financial solutions. So it does do it, but you need to make this like more human, I guess, because you can probably tell, uh, it's actually hard to say, cause this isn't a bad question. Like how did you get started in this field? Um, and maybe you wouldn't be able to tell this is fully automated because you can see Ram, Ram is a, um, if we go here, a full stack developer at SRN Infotech. I don't know what that is, but um, you can see, hi Ram, I saw your profile that you are a full stack developer. Yeah, uh, yeah. what did you join? Both? Yeah, so it's, it is actually pretty good. And obviously you can see how you can use this to your advantage if you were to have like a ton of profiles here and just filter them out and then write personalized openers. And yeah, it's really powerful. So hopefully you found this video valuable. If you did, just drop a like and subscribe and feel free to get creative with this and also comment if you made it to this point in the video. I respond to every comment personally. So yeah, you can also comment what videos you want next and I'll literally make them because yeah, why not? So yeah, definitely stay tuned because I have got some amazing videos coming soon on the channel. And if you want some help scaling your business, agency, coaching business, um, feel free to join my school community. It's a wonderful community full of amazing people all looking to scale. And I actually give you done for you systems inside free girl high level because I already pay for it. So you get free software, free systems and coaching with me pretty much. You can ask me whatever you want once you're inside. So yeah, that'll be the first thing in the description. But if you don't want to join that, don't worry, I'm not here to tell you anything. You can just, I don't know, message you on Instagram and I'll help you or whatever. So yeah, take it easy and have an amazing day.